Yo, it's your homegirl, Tyler CEO, chilling with Blast Your Thoughts Radio. My homeboy, Free Sweetie, Big Duke fan. Shout out to Nikki Stiletto. Bang! What I want to talk about, man, is when these, when these bitches get thirsty, man. Because, you know, summertime is about to come, right? And, you know, they're about, they about, they, they about to get nickified, right? They're about to get nickified. They're about to, you know what I'm saying, pull out the, pull out the, you know, the clothes, right? And they're gonna be posting that shit. They're gonna be like, "Oh, these niggas are so thirsty. Oh, they do it, do it, yeah." Because you can see <laughs> what they on Instagram and Facebook. You, just, I'm thirsty because you advertising pussy, and I'm a man. So yeah, I want to fuck. Like I don't want me. You know what I'm saying? So first of all, ladies, don't get offended. Okay, uh, I respect women. I don't respect you, bitches. See, there's a big difference. See, I'm gonna tell you the difference. When you walk into a woman. You say, hi, my name is Dope Ass Music. How are you? She responds back in turn, hi, my name is Woo 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 Woo. You guys conversate. See what I'm saying? Now, when you're dealing with a woman, you'll be like, hey, would you like to go out sometime? She'd be like, yeah, I would. You guys exchange numbers, and then you set a date. Now, here's how it go with you bitches. Hey, 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 mama. Hey, come here, bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You looking kind of good in the motherfucking pants, man. Why don't you let me knock the stuffing off that shit? Oh, get out what? Here. You're so vulgar. You're so vulgar. Yeah, but whatever, bitch. Hey, why don't you roll this blunt? Let's go, you know what I'm saying? Go take it to the, you know what I'm saying? Go take it back to the crib. Now, I ain't got to take it to the crib. Why don't we just take it to the park? You can boss me up underneath the slides, you know what I'm saying? You can fuss me on the swing sets, whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's the difference. You know what I'm saying? If you if you want to be respected as a woman, carry yourself as a woman. Now, do provocative clothes make you a slut? No. But let's just say, for example, right, if you happen to wear, you know, with your titties hanging out and your ass cheeks hanging out, it don't make you a slut, but you're definitely advertising sluttiness. I'm just saying, you know, it's more it's like false advertisement. You know, you should be able to sue you bitches for false advertisement the minute that you guys parade like y'all some hoes and say, Oh, I'm not a hoe. See? Don't you agree with that, Chris? We should be able to sue for false advertisement. I wish we could, because there's a lot of bitches out here for false advertising. Because everything, a lot like, of these women have you know, false advertising. It, like, let's go, let's go through the examples of false advertising. My, one, of, one of the most common false advertising is the, uh, the hair. The hair. Ass oh, the hair. Selfie. The ass the on hair. the hair. The ass on the hair. No, 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 no. We, we, we don't even have to go with the poses. Let's just go with the, the amenities on a woman. The very, I'm going to start the first one. The first Sign of false advertisement is your hair. Crush, what is another false advertisement on these bitches? Makeup. Makeup. Oh, oh yeah. You try to cover up the motherfucking moon craters in your face. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. That's why that's why personally that's why personally I try to catch chicks on like Uru and Skype early in the morning before she put on her makeup and everything. Time out, time out, time out. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I know, I I know Crush didn't on. get on here and did not even speak. That's number one. And number oh, two, yeah. Chris, I'll be mad. I'll be mad. I'll be mad as hell if you hit me at 5.30 in the morning from our song. What's good, TT? What's that? Nigga, it's too late for that shit now. You done had a full-blown conversation. I didn't know you were here. You ain't know yeah, I was he here. He didn't, he didn't know T. He didn't know T. I'm gonna give him a pass on that one because he, he kind of <laughs> didn't know. He kind of didn't know. Give him a pass. Don't don't no, no. tell him out. Tell him out, T. Tell him out, T. All right. So we go back. So we so now. Oh, the eyebrows. You motherfucking. <laughs> no, no, no. But now like I want to hear what. No, Joker. I didn't. Now I want to hear what T. had to say. I want to hear what T. had to say. What's up? But wait, Tomo. Y'all want to talk about that? What about the bitches that? Oh, 
Hold on, hold on. All right, are we still on the face. You got something to say about the face? Because we still on the face. We got the hair. We got the eyes. Because we definitely got them bitches that be wearing them fake ass contact lenses. So, oh, <laughs> face you dark skin, but you got oh, your blue eyes. My, my no. eyes. Talk about my my eyes change colors with the season. Bitch. Oh, I hate them bitches. <laughs> 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 like my eyes change colors during the Shut up. <laughs> Just shut up. Your eyes don't turn from black to blue. Shut up. <laughs> oh now, now how, how you get cat eyes? How the sun reflect to give you cat eyes? Shut up. Get the fuck out of here. You're from the fucking deepest parts of Compton, but yeah, you got these motherfucking hazel maroon fucking gold flake eyeballs. Bitch, get the fuck out of here. All right, so now we got, we, oh, we all got the face, right? We passed the face. You know what I'm saying? Let's go down to, oh, let's go down to the, to the titties. Oh, you Wonder push bra. bra wearing, you push a bra, Wonder Bra wearing, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and first of all, that's the biggest, that's the biggest <laughs> false advertisement to me. Because me, I love titties. Love titties. So if you lie to me about that, I will throw a remote at you. Hold on, Chris. What about the ones where when they walk that they titties don't jiggle? Look, if you are a B cup or bigger and we're walking together and I know that your titties don't jiggle, you're fake, bitch. You're fake. Well, wait, wait, wait. How, about, how about you just have one a good bra? And her titties don't jiggle? And her titties don't jiggle? Yeah. Yeah. You have a, a, no. good, a good bra. No, there's no such thing. Unless you got one of your grandma's yes, bras. Yes, The I'm, ones that cover I'm, all of listen, your neck Listen, listen, listen. No, not true. A, it depends. I could be a 38 or 40, either double D or triple D. Depends on the cut of the bra. And oh when God. I walk down the street, <laughs> when I, I walk down the street, when I walk down the street, my boobs don't be bouncing all over the place. If you have on a non-good bra, if you, all right, put it like this. If you have on a bra from them cheap stores like Rainbows or some shit like that, you're going to get that. <laughs> Thank you, Katie. Thank, Thank you. Rainbow. Ladies, if you're wearing a five ninety nine bra, you're going to get that. Thank you, Gigi. Let them know. I can't Let talk. Whatever y'all do, that's what y'all do. I spend five hundred dollars sometimes and more on fucking bras. Cause yeah. my mom always told me about spillage. Yes, ladies, the ones that have y'all little top pieces, y'all little I don't know what to call it, poking up at the top and on the sides and all that. That's nasty. You're, you're it's okay for like one pretty to pop. Is is uh, is okay if you have like one boob that might pop out or whatever the case is at the top. But come on, stop wearing cheap bras. 